Well, hello, and welcome to Cooking with Jerry Estrada. Finally, after all these months, I haven't been able to film too much from my house it's because we've been remodeling the kitchen. And here it is. Here is our brand new kitchen in which we're going to be cooking up a storm. But today, we're going to be cooking uh, how, this is going to, how I make my peach cobbler. And for a peach cobbler, you're going to need about six, maybe five peaches. It's going to come out to be, once it's all cut up and everything, it's going to be about five, about four or five cups. I'll tell you once I cut it exactly. You're going to need some sugar, you need some salt, you're going to need some flour, uh, about three quarters cup of milk, baking powder, and cinnamon. And then on top of it for this, you're going to need a, this is a 13 by 9 a glass baking dish. And I already cut six tablespoons of butter that we're going to need that once we start baking it. You're going to need a mixing bowl and you're going to need a saucepan. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and peel the peaches and I'm going to slice them and I'm going to core them. And I'm going to be right back. I'm going to start with that first. Okay, well look, I went ahead and we sliced and they cored the, the peaches and uh, it ended up being more peaches because these are smaller ones. So the, the trick to this is make sure you get four cups. Four cups is basically my, my, my recommendation. You got four cups and now what we're going to do is, uh, now mind you, these are natural peaches. If you're going to use the cans, then you can just measure from the cans and they're already cut and you don't have to go through the peeling process. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and cook the peaches at a medium temperature for a few minutes until I'm, at, I'm adding the peaches. And mix them up here. To this, I'm going to go ahead and add three, three quarter cups of salt. And the salt, I've got correction of sugar. I'm going to three quarter cups of sugar. And this is going to bring out the sweet taste of the peaches. Spread that out nice and evenly. And I'm also going to go ahead and add a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to go ahead and cook this uh, medium temperature until the sugar melts and becomes like a little glaze. And in the meantime, I'm going to 13, 13 by 9 glass baking dish with the six tablespoons of butter. I'm going to put this in the oven now. I'm going to just let it melt. I'm going to do it at 350. So while this melts, I'm cooking that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm slowly cooking these at medium temperature until the sugar uh, melts. It becomes a nice glaze. And in the meantime, while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and start doing the batter. Okay, well, now we're going to do the batter of the peach cobbler, which consists of one cup of flour, a cup of granulated sugar, two tablespoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and three quarter cups of milk. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that. While I'm mixing this, I'm also checking and making sure that my butter is melting and it will all work together at the same time. Just mix everything together here first. Got the one tablespoon. There's your two. One quarter cup of salt. And now the milk. I like to always add the milk slowly and stir. Now you want to just blend it. You don't want to like really whip it. All you have to do is just make sure everything is mixed and you don't have to over mix it. Just make sure that you blend it. Okay, so now the butter was melted. This was cooked. You can see all the nice juices and everything, the sweet juices from the sugar. And now I'm going to do the batter first. The batter, I'm just going to put it inside the baking dish. Let me spread it out. Okay, now. Here, after this is done here, a second, just make sure you kind of spread it out a little all over the dish. You don't want to like mix everything here, just spread it out. Okay, now to here, 
We're going to go ahead and add the peaches with all the juices. And we say it one more time and slowly add it to the batter. Also spreading it around. You don't mix, just, just pour it on top. Just make sure you evenly distribute the peaches all over the dish so there will be plenty of peaches all over. And we're done with this. Okay, so now all we need to do is we're going to go ahead and add a sprinkle of cinnamon to taste. I like a lot of cinnamon, so I'm going to add a nice amount. Spread it out evenly. And this now is going to go into the oven at 350 degrees for about 38 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven. Okay, well, here is the end result. Here is your peach cobbler made straight from cooking with Jerry Estrada. And what you need to do is, this is very hot, you need to let it cool down for a few minutes. And um, I separate the sides a little bit like that so when it's easier for serving. And of course, one of the favorite ways to eat this is with some ice cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a little piece here and we'll serve and see how it comes out. So let me just cut a little piece here. That came out really, looks real yummy. Just a little bit. And we'll top it off with some ice cream. And just a little bit of ice cream, it's too much. There it is, and I'm going to give it a good old try. Let's see how it is. Mm. This is something, a dessert that you always want to at least eat it warm. Uh, it's always better when it's fresh, but if you don't have ice cream, it's still good, but without it. So here it is, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching Cooking with Jerry Estrada. Please give it a like, share it with other people, try it with your family. Uh, welcome back to my new kitchen. Buen provecho, and I'll see you next time. And bon appetit. And uh, keep on cooking. Thank you.